of God. No. No, no. Look at one interview. Biden says it's elementary that the woman is for the man. It's elementary. It's not supposed to be man and man getting married, woman and woman getting married. Right. Now he get old, run for office. <laughs> See, this is what happened when you are desperate for something. Yeah. The heart is the most deceitful, deceitful thing. Deceitful. And desperately wicked. When desperation sets in, you will do anything to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. That's right. Now, many of you, so desperate to hold a title in your church, so desperate to hold a position in your church, yeah. so desperate to be close to some cheap bishop. Oh, yes. Until you go along with the lies that he's teaching and know it's lies. That's right. Don't you know you're going to die one day just like your pastor? That's right. Your bishop can say any nice thing over you while you're laying out if you want. Oh, yes. But if you die without God, rejecting the word of God mm. to hell, you're going to stand before God in judgment, That's right. and he will say gladly, depart from me. Depart from me. You workers of iniquity. That's right. That's why I'm, I'm determined oh, yes. to stick to what is written here. I can't be bought. No. So I said, no one ain't offered you. I've been offered millions. I'm not a hoe, so I can't be bought. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah, glory. I'm not a sellout. Oh, no. Being made a preacher, I was heaven made. I wasn't made like your pastor. No. Went to seminary school and got some degrees and then come out with a big old robe like a trash bag with a bunch of stripes on my arm talking about I'm doctor of divinity. You're a robe wearing fool. That's right. <laughs> Two are making preachers. God and Satan. Satan preachers preach in favor of your flesh. That's right. God preachers condemn your flesh. That's right. And uphold God's word. God's words. Are you listening? A wonderful and horrible thing. A wonderful and horrible thing. Is committed in the land. What is it? The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. And the priests. Uh oh. And the preachers bear rule. By their means. Wait a minute. Bear rule by their means mean they got in the pulpit on their own accord. That's right. They made themselves a preacher. That's right. Or they come up with offices of ministry that's not in the Bible. You know, like in your church, junior bishops. Yeah. They got them in your church, junior elders. Oh, yeah. Junior pastors. Yeah. Junior apostles. The junior deacon board. That's right. Can you imagine such? You're not even a junior liar. You're just a liar. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as a junior bishop, junior elder, junior pastor, no. junior deacon. No such thing exists in the Bible. No. And some of you are junior deacons and junior pastors. You've been bamboozled. That's right. You've been led astray. Led astray. You've been lied to. Oh, yes. It just gave you a title to make you feel good. That's right. Come on, son. The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. falsely. And the priests bear And it's rule. easy to tell a false prophet in the church. Easy to tell. Especially when they get ready to prophesy. That's They're right. very dramatic. Oh, yes. You see them come up. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, the Lord said, 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 oh, get ready. They, they talk like a robot. They talk like a robot. <laughs> the Lord said, Get ready. That's right. My day is on the way. <laughs> the Lord said, get ready. Oh, shut up. That's right. You, you old Decepticon, you might as well stop it. <laughs> huh? You are Decepticon. That's it. Do <laughs> you get what I'm telling you? That's right. You are deceiving the people and you're conning them. You're conning them. The Lord give you some robotic voice. <laughs> like you, you know, like, like you Siri in a car. Siri, that's some old robotic voice. That's right. And you folks think that's your anointing. That's a robotic hypocrite. That's it. 
That's Come all. on back to Bible! That's right. Cut that play in church out. Come on back to what's written here. That's right. You've been away from the Bible so long and played Jack in the Box church until you got used to it. Oh, yeah. And they get mad with me because I'm like Grandpa. I come with the switch of the Bible, <laughs> beating you out the playground. That's right. You want that baby applesauce? I tell you, no, sir. No, no. You're going to get some collard greens, turnip greens, black eyed peas, fish. Pastor Jenna, I don't want that. I want cotton candy because my bishop gave me mocking knives. Hey, I'm going to slap it all out of your hand. Slap it out your hand. And come with Bible. That's right. I get my greatest fight from so-called church people more than I do sinners. Amen. The church organizations fighting us around the world. Oh, yeah. The sinners respects us. That's true. That's true. Jesus said, I came to my own, and my own received me Receive not. Received me not. Listen at this in Jeremiah again. Still in Jeremiah chapter 5, and we're at verse 30. What is it? A wonderful and horrible thing a is committed in the land. Horrible thing committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They prophesy falsely. And the and priests, the priests bear rule by their means. And how do God people feel about this conduct? And my people love to have it so. Love to have how it so. How did you get like this? How is it now you party in church? How did you get like this? Yes. Where your choir don't sing to the glory of God, they sing to entertain. That's right. How did you get like this where the preacher don't preach the word, he just preach to amuse, amuse, to make you feel good. That's right. He just preach motivational sermons. That's all. Never preach against sin, never preach against wrong, never preach against unrighteousness. No. Never speak against the devil at all. <laughs> it's hard to even hear the devil mentioned in church. That's true. In the mega churches, the devil don't come up. No. God ain't talked about and the devil don't come up. That's right. That's true. What is the church trying to do? That's true. Fit in between. Oh, yeah. This is what the churches are doing now, straddling the fence. Straddling. They don't want to go too far towards God, so they want to appear to be Christ-like. That's what they want, a Christ-like appearance. What is a Christ-like appearance? Let me hold your Bible, Brother Fletcher. You go to church with your Bible, get out your car, you got your word. But before you go into church, Put that cigarette in there as a Bible marker. Oh, yeah. Or you come to church holding the hands yes. of the woman that's not your wife that you're living with or your second wife while your first wife living that's right. and then lie and say, God gave it to you. Right. So when you say God gave it to you, you're saying God put you in adultery. That's right. Tenth chapter of the book of Mark. Say Mark chapter 10. Follow me in your Bible. And we'll start reading. Come on back. Yes, I'm right. on Washington. All these thousands of letters I've been getting from D.C. When you're coming to Washington, they've been commenting all on social media. Don't overlook us. Don't <laughs> overlook us. Well, we're not overlooking you. That's right. Hey, man, I'm here now dri driving the tractor of the Bible, and there's some stubborn roots, but we're going to plow it up with Bible. Oh, yeah. We want to plow you up, sister, so you can come out the pulpit. We want to plow you up, brother, so you can hang up your rainbow flag. Get rid of it. That's right. We want to plow your second marriage up because your first wife is still living and your first husband is still living yeah. and God ain't never. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. God 
since the church started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem, did not give nobody a second, third, and fourth wife while the first wife is living. That's right. Follow me in the Bible. St. Mark chapter 10, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. I want this to be good. No need to go tipping out now. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. You might as well get this in you now. Get it in you now. All right, follow me. St. Mark chapter 10, and we'll start at verse 1. Uh, and he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. And what? By the farther side of Jordan, and the people resort unto him again. Yes. And as he was wont, he taught them again. Uh -huh. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? <laughs> Is it lawful for a man, man to put, to away, put his away his wife, tempting him? Imagine tempting Jesus. Tem that's right. Uh -huh. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? Oh, uh, he knew they loved Moses. Oh, yes. And they loved Moses then, thank God, and they love Moses now. That's right. All right. And they said, Moses suffered to Moses write a bill of divorce. Moses suffered you to write a bill of divorce. And to put her away. And to get rid of her. And Jesus answered and said unto them, for Let, the hardness you know, of your Jesus, heart. You know, Jesus, now, they went to Moses. Right. And then Jesus gave them the reason the why people ran to Moses. And Jesus answered and said unto and them, said what? for the hardness of your heart. No, it was God's will. For the hardness of your heart. Moses was dealing with a hard-hearted people. He wrote you this and precept. And he said, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. But from the beginning but of from the creation, the beginning of the world, God made them male and female. He made, wait, 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 mm. wait, 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 Amen. wait, 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 wait. We. From the beginning of what? From the beginning of the creation. What did God make? God made them male and female. Well, who made transgender? Mm. That's right. That's right. God already cleared himself. He, that's right. He told you what he made. But from the beginning of from the, the creation, beginning of creation, God made. Wait, them wait, wait. Mm. Who did it? God. What did God do? God made them male and female. Who made transgender? Mm. Devil made that. Devil made that. God testified what he made. But from the beginning there's of the only, creation. There's only two genders. <laughs> there's only two genders in the Bible. That's it. Male. I say there's only two genders in that Bible. That's right. God made them That's male it. and female. Am I right, man? That's right. There's only two genders. There's only you congressmen. Go ahead, brother. And the transgender community. Go ahead, man. They called the church about seven or eight times all last week, cussing us out. Said the LGBTQRSTUVWXYZ, the alphabet soup community, supposed to be banding together to go to every television station that air our program to get us off the air. And they're supposed to be batting together My Lord. to come down 5th Street at headquarters mm. to protest our preaching. My Lord. I wish you'd hurry up and do it. <laughs> That's right. My stand is a Bible stand. Oh, yes. The Bible points out two genders. But from the beginning of the creation. What? From the beginning of the creation. Since the world was made. God. God. Made them male and female. Just tell me it's God a liar. That's it. That's all you got to do, homosexual community. That's right. Tell me God is a liar and prove it. And prove it. And if you prove God is a liar, mm. Pastor Jennings will wear pink hot pants and a yellow Halter and lime green skeletos. My Lord. <laughs> well, that would be a sight, Pastor. <laughs> that, that would be a sight. Are you listening? That's right. If you show me in the Bible. That's right. Don't you hear God talking? From the beginning of the creation. Here, chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 10 and verse 6. That's what? But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning of creation. God. Who? God. The White House. God. No, Biden. God. 
Obama. God. That's it. Let me tell you political fake or something. Go ahead. President Biden, Barack, and the whole Democratic Party. Go ahead. God didn't leave it in your hands. No. To establish the law of marriage. No, no. The law of marriage was established by God himself. That's right. Am I right, I said? Think you are. Go ahead. You political crooks. Go ahead, brother. How much authority you think you have? That's right. The law of marriage was instituted before you were born. Before you were born. Before you were born. And you transgenders who claim you don't know what a woman is. Go ahead, brother. It's your mama. It's your mama. All of you transgenders came from some woman's womb. That's right. None of you transgenders came from the womb of a transgender. That's right. You come from a woman. Unto the woman, he said. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. The Bible says in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3 and at verse 16. As what? Unto the woman he said. Unto the woman he said. I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. I will greatly multiply thine sorrow. And thy conception. And thine conception. In sorrow. In sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth thou children. Thou shalt bring forth children. And thy desire. And your desire. Shall be to thy husband. Shall be to your wife. Shall be to thy husband. Your wife. 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 Thy husband. That's it. That's right. So President Biden. That's right. President Biden. Oh, Biden. You's a Democratic liar. Oh, yes. I want to say again to all you presidents of Africa who's standing up against America and standing up against Europe. That's right. It doesn't matter if they try to boycott or embargo, set up an embargo to keep food and medication and grain and the necessity things for the African people. Amen. Because a man's behind. <laughs> is more important to America That's right. than a starving child. Amen. Amen. President Biden, Preach it, man. answer this question. Preach it. How is it you love a man's butt Go ahead. so much mm. that you agree to not send the necessity things That's right. to the countries in Africa? That's right. How is it you Democrats? Yeah. Threaten countries in Africa. Amen. Because they don't want their men polluting themselves. That's right. They don't want to give they behind Go ahead. up to another man. Go ahead. Think of it. Think of that. I don't want to give up my behind Amen. to a man. Yeah. And as a result of that decision, my child got to starve. That's right. I can't get medication. That's right. Africa. Look to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Africa, look unto the hill. That's it. From which cometh my help. That's right. My help. Come from the Lord. Go with God. Hallelujah. Come from the Lord. That's it. That's it. Amen. You got to be a sick country. Yeah, that's sick. That is sick. You got to be a sick country. My Lord. That's that it. you are willing to let children and women starve. My Lord, my Lord. Because you 
want to justify a man yeah. parked in another man's behind. My Lord. Now, My some Lord. of you church people, including you fake preachers, say that man is too raw. Yeah. He's too vulgar. That's the word. That's the word. We call a spade a spade. That's right. And if any of you scared, you shouldn't be here. Or if you scared, you know, you can leave early. That's right. But when you leave early, don't you ever step foot in the church again. Yeah. Because Jesus said, if you were ashamed of me, I'd be ashamed of you. That's right. Amen. When are you church people Go ahead, man. gonna stop going to church Go because it's Saturday or Sunday and really be committed? Yeah. Where is your godly commitment? That's it. That's it. When you are committed to him, not only will you live for him, you'll die for him. That's right. People ask me, man, you talk about the government. Aren't you afraid of what they'll do to you? Do what? Do what? Throw you in jail. Come on! Right. <laughs> what do we care? That's right. Did not the apostles go to jail? Go to jail. Yeah. Mm. You fake Christians. Go ahead, brother. Just go to church and carry a Bible That's it. to decorate your arm. That's it. You're either for God or you're against him. Or you're against him. You either stand up for him. Oh, yes. Or you're going to bow to the powers of hell. That's right. That's so right. So, President Biden, you ain't got that much longer to live. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. The Lord of creation. Yes, Lord. He's going to smite you. Lord, my Lord, my Lord. You're not a Christian. No. Because a Christian not only follow Christ, they believe in him. They believe in him. It ain't a God-fearing, Christ-like man or woman justify same-sex marriage. No. Look how God is beating America. No. Earthquakes in direst places. Yeah. Floods in countries that don't have them. Yeah. Wiping out your land, wiping out your houses. That's right. God sent pestilence and turmoil. That's right. Take your daddy, take your husband, take your mother. Yeah. Washington! Go ahead. God is going to shake this wicked city. The White House. My Lord, my Lord. God is going to make an example out of you. My Lord. Congress. God is going to make an example out of you. My Lord. All right, listen. Go ahead, man. And he's not going to stop until the terror hit the Supreme Court. My Lord. Because there is only one real judge. Oh, yes. And God, God is he. Is he. All the judges of the earth have to answer to the real judge. That's right. Are oh, you listen to the old man? That's right. Whoever thought, Whoever thought. that Europe and America would be so loyal mm. for a man's behind. Amen. That they will cause, they, they want to starve countries out who won't accept saying except marriages. All the Caribbean islands, all of Africa, and all other countries in the world that are standing up against it. Yeah. Continue to stand against it. That's right. You churches who are so dedicated to your 5031. <laughs> you don't want to lose your 5031C. That's right. And that's why you won't say anything because 
You get governmental subsidies for your senior citizens programs and for your children programs. And you want to be a little quiet so your senior citizens can have their senior house and the children can have their children house. Yeah. And you ain't nothing but America's whore. That's all. Anytime the American government can dictate what you preach, you are America's whore. That's all. You're scared. Scared. You let the American government dare try to tell us what to preach. I laugh at you. That's right. That's right. Yes, you will. Well, we won't sponsor your program. We are happy without your sponsorship. <laughs> That's right. We refuse to compromise the size of a gnat's ankle. Yeah. Because the great God of heaven is not a toy. No. He's a real God. He's a real God. He's not to be played with. And God is not mocked. And he said unto me, there is no judge above God. Did you hear that? In 2 Esther chapter 7 and verse 19. There is. There is no judge. No judge. Above God. <laughs> Supreme Court. Yeah. Parliament of Europe. All the judges of America and the world. That's right. It proves that you are hypocrites because you have in your courthouses in God we trust. Yeah. You're a liar. That's a lie. LGBTQRSTUVW group. <laughs> Some of the members said they're going to file a suit against me. What do I care? Please bring me to court. Please. <laughs> Give me the chance. Please. To challenge the entire courthouse and you. That's right. When I go, I let Williams know so we can pack up with Bible. That's, that's right. That's right. I be, that's right, Pastor. Amen. That's right. I mean, you, you, you can't forbid me using Bible and then want to use Bible to swear me in. That's right. That's right. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. You so-called apostolic churches and Pentecostals, you don't have the respect of heaven. No. You are nothing but organized backsliders. That's it. You have played with the souls of thousands of sincere people. That's right. You played with the grandparents. You played with fathers and mothers, and now you're playing with generation after generation after generation. Yeah. You preachers now are up with hot pink suits. Hey, oh. man, I want to say to our brothers, don't you get too loud in here. That's right. I don't want to see you look like your suit been charged up overnight. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's right. That the Bible says modest, it means modest. modest. Apparel. That's true. You don't see your overseeing red suits and all that stuff? That's right. No, unplug oh. it. Oh, yes. Shred it. Make a pillowcase out of it. That's right. We're going to do this. We're going to keep holding this. Oh, I'm not playing. No, you're not. Brother, when it comes to that Bible, I'm not playing with nobody. That's right. Everybody got to come back to Bible and leave it just like that. That's right. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15. If a sister got on a pink blouse, that's fine. Yeah. I'm at a point, I don't want to see brothers not even with a pink tie. Amen. I don't want to see a pink tie in first church. Go ahead. They look too feminine. Yeah. Go ahead. They look too feminine. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. See you in no pink tie. Yeah. I don't want to see you in no pink shirt. I don't want to see you in pink nothing. That's right. Leave pink for the women. Amen. Leave pink for the women. They can be pink all day. I want to see you running around like you the pink panther. That's right. That's right. I mean this. That's right. You're going to keep this thing like the Bible has it. Like the Bible has it. Go ahead. Do you hear this? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15 and verse 20. That's what? He has commanded no man to do wickedly. He has commanded no man to do wickedly. To do wickedly. Neither has he given Neither any man. Neither has he given any man. License to sin. A license to do what? 
to sin. You transgenders. Amen. God didn't make you that way. No. You judges that perform same-sex marriages. You're a sinner. That's a sinner. That's right. You know, they're trying to make it law now. They made a law in Canada that no religion can speak against the homosexual community. Hmm. Well, you know what I find interesting? The government, the law will try to sue you or do anything to you. Let me ask you the government something. I find it interesting. Why are y'all so angry when someone speak against the transgender conduct but not one of you politicians are angry when I'm called nigger. That's right. That's right. Answer that. When I speak against the transgender conduct, two men, two women, y'all hit the roof. <laughs> Amen. But yet, your Republican politicians can call black folk nigger all day. That's right. Nobody put them in check. No. You can call black folk, look at them monkeys over there. That's right. Nobody put them in check. No. You can call black folk, oh, look at them coons. Yeah. Nobody put them in check. That's right. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. That's true. Moment someone speak against the transgender conduct, and then you have the audacity. Barack said when he was president to the transgender, he said, I, I feel your pain. <laughs> Barack said, The fight of the transgender community My Lord. is the same fight that blacks had. That's mm. an insult. That's an insult. We were born the way we are. That's right. Black is not a behavior. That's right. Homosexuality is a choice. It's a choice. I can't change my color. To. No. I can't change my color. No. This is God given. That's right. So when a man trying to climb up on a man because he want to pickpocket him. Mm. That's right. They say it is equal to the civil rights struggle. You ignorant black Uncle Tom leaders. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. How did you get this week? How'd you get? You pulled pit, handkerchief head liars. Go ahead. How did you get this week? Hmm. Preaching. Money. Yeah. It's the root of all evil. Root of all evil. And I'm glad God ain't make me like these fellas out here. That's right. That's right. So we can be called nigger, coon, monkey. <laughs> Nobody say nothing. Nobody say nothing. The moment you speak against the transgender. We don't hate transgender people. No. We're dealing with the lifestyle. That's it. It ain't nothing on a man made for a man. No. Just that simple. It ain't made. That's right. If it don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's it. Come on, son. Go back to where you are. Everybody all right? Yeah. We're back. almost done. Come on. Back in St. Mark chapter 10, and we're at verse 6. Follow me. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. Two genders. Two. And this came from the beginning of creation. Of the creation. God. God. Made them. Not, ma not, 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 not no preacher. No, God. Not no Democrat, no Republic. That's God. It. God made them male and female. You don't hear nothing like this on no form of social media. No. At all. No, no. Because the men are scared. That's right. They're afraid to speak out against the governments of the world. Right. I'm afraid not to do it. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because the apostle declared, woe is me. That's right. right. 
Woe is me. If I preach not the gospel. If I preach not the gospel. That's right. Do you remember they have this sleazy program called the Preachers? What was it, the Preachers of L.A.? Preachers of L.A. You see what these men are do for money? Yeah. It's amazing. They will become immediate. They will become television whores for money. Yes, they will. Preachers of L.A. And Bishop Noel was right along with them. Mm. You mm. fellas are nothing but an embarrassment. You're not preachers. None of you. That's right. Bible said, he whom God hath sent will speak the words speak of God. Speak the words of God. Be quick. Back in uh, Mark chapter 10 and verse 6. Finish so I can knock off. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. Yes. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. And do what? And cleave to his wife. Cleave to his wife. So if you cleave to anything else. <laughs> That's right. And you a man. You a man. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You a God ain't never purpose for Barney to cleave to Fred. No. No way. Huh? No. He didn't purpose for Jackie Gleason to cleave to Norton. That's right. He didn't purpose for Abbott to cleave to Costello. <laughs> That's right. Not at all. Oh, no. Everybody got to come back to Bible or stand before the judgment seat of God and be cast into an everlasting hell. That's it. You got this to obey. Oh, yes. I know many of you don't like my frank talking, but no subject is taboo with us. No. The reason why no subject is off limits because it's not off limits to God. That's right. And if you're right and not guilty, what I'm preaching won't offend you. No. Yeah? It won't. One thing for everybody. One thing. Amen. It's time for you to get right. Washington, 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 Washington. I know many of you claim you are born again Christian, but you better test that stuff with the Bible. Oh, yes. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're no more a Christian than a duck can sell crack. Amen. You're not born again. No. You joined the church. The Bible never told you join no church. You're not born again. No. Amen. You prayed a sinner's prayer. No such prayer exists in that Bible. That's right. Again, you just went through some formality that some church has. That's it. You got to do it like the Bible says. If you've been baptized and the preacher said, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you still got it wrong. Still got it wrong. Give me Matthew 28, 19 quickly. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Says what? Go, teach it. Go, go ye therefore. And teach all nations. And teach all nations. That's why we're here in D.C. The, the, the whole city is taught wrong. Whole city. Whole city, city is taught wrong. That's right. Many of them start out right, and now they're just as messed up. They don't know what's right or wrong. That's right. Just going to formalities, going to church out of formality, yeah. dying spiritually. Oh, yes. This devil is taking them over, and the people are backsliding, not in church while they're there. That's right. The millions of the, the amount of letters I get, so many people testifying that this message now gave them hope. Wonderful. They got hope in church again. Wonderful. Got renewed hope again. That's right. What did he say? Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. What is it? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's what you need, Grandma. <laughs> Amen. Grandma, Grandpa, Grandpa, middle age, old folk, young folk, you need teaching. Teaching. You young girl need teaching. You got too many babies and you ain't married yet. That's true. You need teaching how to ignore that fella's bankroll of money. That's right. You need teaching. Keep your legs closed and keep your virginity. That's it. It ain't no sin being a virgin for man or woman. That's right. Get me? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach them. No teach living all together. Nations. You're not married. Right. Stop shacking up. Go ahead. Walking around in your drawers and shorts with no shame in your game. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Do what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach them. All nations. Teach the woman to respect the body. That's right. And man, stop giving it to everything that got a decent car. That's right. Teach all nations. What? Go ye therefore and teach all teach nations. Teach them. All nations. Teach all nations. Mm -hmm. That's it. Teach the preacher. Stop acting like you gay. Teach Stay away preacher. from being gay. That's right. Huh? Teach all nations. Teach them. Take your rainbow flags down. That, that's right. Teach them. Get Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, take off. Go ahead. Do you know what? Teach all nations. Get rid of your junior bishops, Hallelujah. junior elders, junior pastors. Get rid of that stuff. That's it. It ain't none of that stuff in the Bible. Women, deacons, that's not Bible. No. Shut it down. Shut it down. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Stop trying to blow on people and they fall. Stop trying to smack them on the head them, and push them in the floor. Do what? Teach all nations. Teach them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teach. 
Mm, hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. You that go to these churches where you stand in front of hallelujah. your fake bishop and he grab you by the head and push you on the floor. Go ahead. Teach all you nations. You hypocrite. Go ahead. And you won't fall unless somebody back there to catch you. That's right. That's right. Preacher, take his jacket and wave it over. Wave it around. And about 30 of you hit the floor. <laughs> That's right. That's You're right, man. You're a hypocrite. Man. You are a hypocrite. Go ye therefore and teach. We teach this. All nations. Teach it, everybody. Everybody. God willing, uh, about another week, we'll be in Europe yeah. at the European Conference in the Netherlands. Hallelujah. Amen. Bringing the same thing. That's right. Because the same spirit in America is over there in the Netherlands. The same thing. <laughs> same thing. Go and ye therefore. Go ye. Hallelujah. 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 Go ye therefore. And teach all teach nations. Them. Teach them. Teach all nations. That's what you folk are not getting. You ain't getting no teaching. No. You go to some church and some nut is on an organ and some That's false right. prophet in the pulpit with his hands over his ears like he got a hearing problem. That's right. Breathing like he got asthma and just a, Lord. That's right. That's it. You don't know what Mickey Mouse is saying. <laughs> Don't know what he's saying. Don't, don't know what he's saying. But because they can understand us so plain. Oh yeah. Pastor Paul said, "Having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech." I'm that's, a plain speaking preacher. <laughs> that's right. I don't need no organ playing along while this stuff is falling. No way. Eh? No, no. I know some of you wish you couldn't understand it. <laughs> some of you wish you couldn't hear it. <laughs> that's right. My God, what I'm preaching going to follow you to the grave. Yes, it will. And what I'm preaching going to get you out the grave. That's right. And they're going to face you in judgment. That's right. Go ye therefore. You won't get away from it. Hallelujah. I don't care who your pastor is, Hallelujah. who your mother is, how much money you got, you will never get away oh, from no. the message that God gave his apostles. That's right. Never. That's why I'm so, I'm so settled in it. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, Never yes. will I come out of it to <laughs> bargain with nobody. No, no. Amen. Never. Never. Preach Someone it. said, don't say never. If you can't say never, that's your business. I can say never. You can say it. Amen. Never. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Never that's will right. I come out of it. That's right. Thank Wherefore God. the rather, the brother. Holy, the Holy Ghost has made my home here. Go ahead, man. Preach God it. didn't put me in it to come out. Preach it. Come man. out, jump back, come back. No, no, no. He ain't put me in it for that. Go ahead. Lord, thank God the Holy Ghost. I said like the prophet, he made my feet like hind's feet. Oh, and yes. the prophet said he made my face like a flint. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. No movement here. Go ahead, brother. That's wonderful. Man. You preachers have moved far left. Oh, yeah. Old mothers now. Oh, yeah. They used to live holy. Now their soul is in jeopardy. Mm. by some old young hypocrite that got in the pulpit and the whole church is upside down. That's right. Disco lights in the pulpit. That's right. Preaching, man. Everything changed. Oh, yes. For the worse. For the worse. Hallelujah. Besides the people getting close to God, they're getting further and further away from him. That's right. That's right. Bishop, don't speak against no sin. No. That you women wear splits from your ankle to your hips. Uh, your dress or skirt is no shorter than my jacket. And then when you sit down, you know your hips make it rise. And you're trying to pull that in. It ain't going nowhere. That's right. You know it's too short. That's right. That's hey, man, right. what's wrong with our women? Why you want men to see all your private parts? Mm. Why? Why? Why do you want them to see it? Preach it, man. Why you ain't got no shame in your game, woman? <laughs> That's right. Why? You put a tattoo on your breast, and then when you on a subway or somewhere, men looking at your bosom, your bosom. and then you want to act like this. <laughs> oh, 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 stop. When you know you really want to bam. <laughs> Am I right, I say? Go ahead, Pastor. Why in the world you going to put it there? Right there. Then put on a bra to raise your chest up and then deliberately put on a blouse that drops down. My Lord, my Lord. And then go into some church. Yeah. 
And you wonder why Bishop coming. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for prayer. It's time for prayer. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Hallelujah. It may sound funny, but you know it's true. No, it's true. Yo, yo, Bishop, look at you. There's a God somewhere. <laughs> Then he said, oh, I know it's a God oh, somewhere. That's right. That's right. You have naked Christian woman. My What's Lord the Lord. matter with you? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? And your bishop tell you God ain't looking at your outward. He looking at your heart. That's a liar. That's a lie. When God gets your heart right, all the outward fall in place. That's right. All of it. That's right. Can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. <laughs> That's right. In the world you claim you represent God and you out here half naked. Half naked. You look at these folks going to church, you can't tell whether they're going to church or to the neighborhood club. That's true. Half naked all on the choir, the preacher's wife. wife. They're like a regular hooker. That's right. Give me Leviticus 10.10. 10. Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. The Bible says, and put that, a difference. And that ye may put difference. Put difference. Between holy. Between holy. And unholy. And between and unclean. And between unclean. And clean. There got to be a difference there. Yeah. Got no be. deep cut necks. No splits. No back out. Mm. Showing all the marks all on your chest and on your thighs. That's right. Put difference. Put difference. Between holy. Cover that stuff up. That's right. Every man that come to church ain't got the Lord on his mind. No way. Right. Well, Pastor Jennings, they shouldn't be looking. That's right. And you shouldn't be showing them. That's right. Both ways. They shouldn't be looking and you shouldn't be advertising. That's right. Hey, all these hundreds of folk coming to see me. Imagine if I came through the door and I had on booty shorts. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Could you imagine that? I come out here with booty shorts on. Oh, Lord. Walking linked over. Ain't the Lord good? <laughs> huh? Booty shorts on. Just shouting. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Shouting with my hands on my hips. <laughs> Looking backward. Looking backward. <laughs> That's the devil out of hell. That's right. Go ahead. Just Go ahead, like God. I would look like a fool, how you think you look? That's right. I want to make it so plain. plain. You got to understand what I'm telling you. And that ye may put difference. The Holy Ghost says what? And that ye may put difference. Many of you watching, look at your pastor wife. You don't know whether you speak to her or give her some money. You don't know whether to say praise the Lord or how much. How much. <laughs> That's right. You don't know which to say. That's right. That's right. I know many of you take offense to this oh, because yeah. you know you're guilty. Yeah. Hear me good. And that you may put difference between holy. Bible way. Amen. Wear the cross. Refuge. Mm. Church of God in Christ. Y'all have backslid years ago. Years ago. Years ago, oh, yes. many of you here still go to these backsliding churches. Oh, yeah. You have became comfortable like a dirty pig in slop. That's right. That's right. Here we come with a hard, rough, old-fashioned, holy yes. message that was here before I was born. That's right. But because the people have been spoiled by eating sugar so long. Oh, yes. They say, hell, oh, he's too strict. He's, he's not up with the times. He's not up with the times. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know what's going on out there. The devil's going on out there. <laughs> That's right. Anything I want to know happening out there, I can go to the Bible. That's right. Repent. Repent and be baptized. Repent. That's it. God wants you to get on his side. That's right. That goes for you that say you're baptized in the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
I want to see that you got the right baptism. Right baptism. Pastor Jennings, I was baptized in Jesus' name. You were? You were. You baptized wrong. That's right. But I thought you baptized in Jesus' name. No, I don't. I baptized in the name of Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Like Peter or the words Lord Jesus, like Paul. That's right. They never baptized nobody simply in the name Jesus. No. Because there's more than one Jesus in the Bible. That's right. You got Jacob and Esau. Esau in Arabic is pronounced Esau. Esau. Translation in English, Esau is Jesus. Jesus. You got Moses and Joshua, Joshua the son of Nun. There is no J's in the Hebrew language, so the uh, proper pronunciation of Joshua would be Yahashua. Right. Yahashua in English is Jesus. Jesus. Now you got the New Testament, you got a man named Bar Jesus. Bar Jesus. And then you got another man named Jesus Justice, Justice. but you only got one Jesus Christ. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. So if you were baptized simply in Jesus' name, you were baptized wrong. Wrong. Give me Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Do you hear this? Repent. Oh, you're going to do it the Bible way. You ain't getting around it. Oh, no. You ain't getting around this to save your life. You got to come back to the Bible. That's right. it. Do what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. I don't care if you're a deacon, a preacher, or an elder. You can call yourself what you want. You can't change this. Oh, no. The Bible said repent. And be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. No, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, simply in the name Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, just Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did he say? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Bible ain't never tell you bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal Savior. No. Bobby never told you to pray a sinner's prayer. Nobody. Nobody. When they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, that's the name that's it. of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's it. Matthew 20 and 19, it was told, uh, go ye therefore go and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, do it in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's it. Matthew 20 and 19 was fulfilled in Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, this is what you got to do, Washington. Washington, Washington. Amen. Washington might as well prepare to get washed. That's it. Bible say, wash you, make you clean. Make you clean. Put away the evil of your door from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well. That's Seek it. judgment. That's right. Uh -huh. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. If you haven't been born again this way, you've never been saved in your entire life. That's right. Remember, you got to do it like it's written, like not it's written. the way your organization do it. Amen. But my bishop told me it's all right. I don't care what your bishop said. No. Your bishop ain't coming back for you. Jesus is. That's it. And brother, uh, I do. Well, we do a lot of building, you know. A lot of time I have blueprints, loads of blueprints. And many times our architect and I, we're on the side while things is going on, going over the blueprints. And many times the city may come down as the inspector, and all three of us looking at the blueprints and looking at what's being done. Because we have to go by what's written. What's written. Eh? That's right. Amen. In order for that building to be right, we got to go by what's written. Yeah. Now, Jesus is building his church. He said, upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So Jesus' church, the church by the Lord Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ, Christ, has to go by all what's written. What's written. You fools and slow of heart, believe all what the prophets have said. That's it. So when we go by what is written, whatsoever things are written, written for time is written for our learning. That we through that patience, we do patience and comfort of the scriptures. Comfort of what? Comfort of the scriptures. What we have. Might have hope. Our hope is where? Of the scriptures. Hallelujah. Might I'm have a hope. scripture preacher. That's it. Amen. That's it. I, 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 this is my script. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. This is my script right here. Whatsoever things were written of Whatever Whatever's time. written here. So you that claim you're saved, you bow your head and raise your hands. No, you're not saved. No. You're not saved. If it hurts your feelings, then all right, you'll get all right. Yep. But you're not saved. If you join the church, God ain't never tell you join no church. Amen. Never. You've never. been lied to all these years. That's right. You know how you go to your churches and the choir starts singing for you. I am praying for you. I... And then Reverend Chicken Wing get up <laughs> while they sing it. Reverend Chicken Wing say, well, if there's anybody here. Anybody Does anybody here want a church home? Anybody want a church home? Anybody want a church home? Uh, 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 uh. I want 
on up, come on up, come on up, come on up. That's what they said. And a bunch of drunken elders with manicured nails, all of them got their hands all over you. Come on, come on, come on, back to Christ, come on, back to Christ. Repeat after me, repeat after me, Lord Jesus, about 50 people. That's right. Repeat after me the sinner's prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Wash me, cleanse me, white as snow. I'm a sinner. Then he says, when you say this, you're saved. He's lying. He's a liar. You're no more saved than a chicken can sell crack in Washington, D.C. <laughs> and he got a group of ducks operating the east side for him. <laughs> you're, not, you're not saved. Not saved. You're not saved. No. Imagine. Having a bishop who don't know salvation. That's right. And you're following him. That's right. And giving money. And giving money. Patronizing it. That's it. You're in a Baptist church. You are? Mm. Where is Baptist church in the Bible? You're in a Methodist church. You are? Where is a Methodist church in the Bible? You're a Protestant. You are? Where is it in the Bible? You're non denominational. Where is it at in the Bible? You go and jump and shout and holler and falling out. That's right. You're a Catholic. Where is that at in the Bible? You Christian scientist or you a Scientologist? Where is it in here? Where did anybody in here say it was Lutheran? <laughs> That's right. Where anybody in here said it was African Methodist Episcopal? Who? Who? You say you're apostolic. Oh, you are. You are. And good broken English. You is. Where in the Bible that Jesus That's right. or the apostles said their religion or their denomination was called apostolic? apostolic. Pastor Jesus, I thought. Yeah, I know you did. That's right. Let's get Bible for what we are. Give me Levit the Le book of Leviticus. In Leviticus chapter 19. Then give me the book of Ephesians. of Ephesians. I want to show you how long it's been around. In Leviticus chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. All of you that are here that say you're a Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, 5 percenter, five baptized, Protestant, Pentecostal, Mormon, Muslim, Hebrew Israelite, whatever you call yourself. Whatever you call yourself. And you say you believe in the scriptures. If we are God's children, now I want you to pay close attention to what I'm saying. If we are God's children, why would the children be something different from their father? That's right. Is God our heavenly father? Yes. Did God tell you he was Baptist? No. no. Why are you? Did God tell you he's a Methodist? No. Talk back to me. No way. You sound weak because somebody Methodist is getting crushed. <laughs> then why are you? That's right. Did God tell you he's Pentecostal? No. Why are you? That's right. Did God tell you he's a Catholic? No. Then get out your confession booth. Amen. Did God tell you he's non-denominational? No. 